Hi there, and welcome to Mr. C's presentation on fractions of a whole number. This is a two-step process. It's pretty easy once you know how to do it. You divide and then multiply, and I'm going to show you how to do it in just a moment. But first, we're going to talk about why this is important, how you're going to use this, why you should even learn it in the first place. Uh, you're actually going to use this in real life, at least I do, um, from time to time. Uh, it, it helps you to divvy up resources. So if you have like a large group of things, right? Like you have a hundred stickers, right? And you have two fifths of a group at one table and three fifths of a group at another table, uh, you're gonna be able to do what I'm about to teach you to divvy up those stickers so that each group gets an equal amount according to the number of people that are in that group, okay? Uh, and then um, it, it also helps with money. Right? Uh, when you're breaking money up into groups, uh, it's going to help make sure that you don't get ripped off. I feel like fractions, division, multiplication, a lot of that has relevance when it comes to finances and money. Okay, so let's just dive right into this. We're going to do it. So, first problem that I'm going to show you how to do. <clears throat> what is one-fourth of 16? One-fourth of 16. So, like, if I had 16 cookies, right, and I had to split it up into fourths, how many would be in each one of those groups? Or I said, oh, I'm gonna give you one fourth of the cookies that I have. How many cookies would you actually get? Okay, here's the rule. If you're gonna write one thing down, write this down. Divide by the denominator and multiply by the numerator. So the denominator, as you know, if you know anything about fractions, and if you don't, if you don't know what I say when I'm saying denominator, you should watch a video on fractions first before you watch this. The denominator is the number on the bottom, right? So when I write one-fourth, a lot of times you'll see it like this. It's hard for me to word process it that way, so you see one divided by four, but that stands for one-fourth. The denominator is the number on the bottom, okay? Denominator, d -d down denominator. That's how I remember it. And then the numerator is the number on the top. Okay, so you're going to divide by the number on the bottom, the denominator, and multiply by the number on the top, the numerator. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we have 16, right? We're going to divide 16 by the denominator, which is, I'll even do it in that color, 4. Okay, 16 divided by 4, well that's easy. If you don't know that, you should learn your division facts first before you start messing with fractions. At least that's what I would advise. 16 divided by the denominator, 4, is 4. Because 4 times 4 is 16. Okay, so next step. Multiply by the numerator. So we're going to take this number, and we're going to multiply it by the numerator, which is 1. Oh, that's easy. What's 4 times 1? It's 4. So 1 fourth of 16 is 4. That's the answer. That's not that hard. Okay. Let's try another one. They're kind of easy when the numerator is 1. This is not, though. So we're going to do the same thing. Okay, we're going to take 24. And we are going to divide by the denominator. The denominator for this number is, or for this fraction, is 3. 24 divided by 3 equals, you know that. You should. Like I said, if you don't know, you're your division facts automatically in your head, you should work on that before you really start playing with fractions. It makes it a lot easier. 24 divided by three equals eight, okay? And then we're gonna take that number and we're gonna multiply it by the numerator, All right? The number on top of the fraction, which is two. What's eight times two? 16. So what is two thirds of 24? It's 16. See? Simple two-step process. Let's do it one more time. This one I'm, I want to show you because sometimes you're going to have to use long division, right? Like if you don't know uh, your factors, like uh, especially if your denominator is multiple digits, right? Or if the number you're dividing is large, you're going to have to do long division. So I'm just going to do, I did kind of an easy one here, but you know sometimes it's going to be difficult. So we're going to divide 100, right? divided by the denominator, which is 5, all right? And you should know how to do this. How many times does 5 go into 1? It doesn't. How many times does it go into 10? Well, it goes in twice. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. Drop down the 0. How many times does 5 go into 0? It doesn't go in at all, all right? So 0 times 5 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. No more numbers to drop down. Boom, 20. 
Okay, so 100 divided by, I'm going to keep using these colors so that it's helpful, the denominator 5 equals 20. Okay, and then we're going to multiply by the numerator. 20 times 3, right? There's our numerator right there, 3 equals, that's not that hard, 2 times 3 is 6, and then add the 0, 60. That's our answer, 60. So if you had three, if you had 100 stickers and you said, well, I'm going to give you three-fifths of that, I'm going to give you three-fifths of all the stickers I have, you would be giving me 60 stickers and then be keeping 40 for yourself. Cool? All right, you got, you got to know how to do this stuff. And like I said, it's not that hard. If you just remember, divide by the denominator, multiply by the numerator. Okay? Cool. I'm going to challenge you to try it in just a moment, but let's go over what we learned first. First, uh, finding fractions of a whole number, two-step process. Right? Said it a million times. Say it to yourself. Divide by the denominator, multiply by the numerator. You're going to use this in real life. Uh, at least I do. Uh, it makes breaking things up into different groups, different size groups, easy if you know the two-step process. Uh, and then finally, sometimes you're going to have to do long division to get this done. So, so if you don't know how to do long division, you should learn it. I would say learn it before you even practice this. Um, because it's kind of one of the fundamental steps to figuring this stuff out. All right, so let's try it. Okay, show me that you learned something here. First problem, what is one-third of 21? Second problem, what is two-fifths of 25? And our final problem, what is seven-eighths of 64? That's a tough one. I didn't include anywhere you needed to do long division here, though. So if you know your facts to, if you know your division facts to 144, you should be able to do all these problems. Okay, so try this. Um, show a math master so that they can check to see that you've done it right. If you need to rewind and watch this video again uh, in order for you to to get this down and go through the steps and master this process, you absolutely should do that. I hope that this helped, and I will see you next time.